What's up, traders? Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol DATS for DatChat Inc. On the left hand side, we have the daily time frame, and on the right hand side, the 30 minute intraday time frame. This, of course, will be more of an update. We've covered it in the past here on the channel, and the main thing to discuss was today's large breakout on top of an already impressive move out of this prior range from in here, all punctuated by really, really solid volume down below. So, you know, just beautiful price action out of the charts here on DATS today. Day. So let's take a look and update our charts just a bit. I would say that there's, you know, let's just flip over to the 30 minute. Actually, there's no sense in trying too, too hard from the daily to pick out this range when it's clear here on the 30 minute that here it is, right? We can easily pick out the high end of this consolidation here. And I would argue that we should adjust this. This was just the prior, uh, you know, high from in here. That was the all time high the last time we covered it at 1039. And we'll just again, adjust that higher to reflect the bottom end of the range, which I would argue is really at $10 and 55 ish cents. You can see all the touch that we got right in this general area of the chart. So this was the breakout zone, of course, right? So something like this, whenever we're dealing with ranges, we generally look to double the range. So if we do something like that, you can see we certainly fulfilled that sort of rule, right? So all things considered, I would be patient inside of DATS right now if you're not already long. If you are already long, then fine. Just monitor for continuation here. But if you're not, what are the areas that I would be watching out for? Well, if there is a pullback, the first and ideal area of consolidation or uh, pullback that holds is at the 1221, right? Simply back testing the prior breakout point in here. If we start printing hammer candles, indecision doji candles, basically anything that would make you question, right? Is the pullback ending? Can you flip long over the highs, get back up into those upside targets with a stop just underneath? That's how you would trade that here on the pullback inside of DATS. But considering that this one has started to go parabolic already, we have to at least consider that if a pullback does come, it might be a little bit more aggressive than we want it to be, right? So what are we looking out for in that case? Well, I think we're going to use our Fibonacci's just to kind of help here from the daily perspective. I would argue this was kind of the bottom end of the breakout point. We'll come up to the top and the 38.2 is here, uh, certainly just inside of this consolidation, right? But we're talking about a little bit more of an aggressive pullback. I would watch out for the 50% and the bottom end of the range. Nice how that lines up there. So really watching out for 1055. Uh, the fibs weren't as much help as I would have liked here, uh, but sometimes that's the nature of how it goes, right? So 1055 would be the next uh, sort of uh, battleground, if you will. So a deeper pullback could come here again, be on the lookout for those uh, hammers indecision dojis, basically things that make you question are the sellers running out of steam flip long over the highs as mentioned to get back into upside targets with a stop just underneath the lows. And then after that, if the uh, 1055 does not hold, that's where I would be a little bit more patient. Let's get rid of this line right here. Uh, it's really probably something like this right back down here to this 861 for a back test of this breakout point from the daily. Now, again, this is all if we get a pullback in the first place. Right? I'm not saying that it has to pull back, but if you're not already long, it's not an ideal location to start a new long sided position, given the fact, right? Where's your potential reward? Say it does go a little bit higher. Great. But your risk essentially is here, right? There's potential for a pullback to 1221. There's a potential pullback to 1055. And there's also a potential pullback to here, right? So it just doesn't make sense quite yet to be fishing for new longs. And again, if you are already long, I'm not saying bail on the trade. I'm saying monitor for continuation. Uh, but again, don't be fishing here at all time highs, basically after a pretty close to parabolic move uh, inside of DAT. So the chart does look phenomenal. I like this area of consolidation from in here. You know, the pullback areas that I'll be monitoring for do keep an eye on volume down below as well. If we pull back and volume is lower, that's a good sign, right? That's basically telling you that people aren't running for the exits. They're kind of holding on to the position, maybe taking a little bit of profits and they'll see if they can get another leg up. If we do see an aggressive pullback, so a candle that looks something like this or something, you know, that really pulls back deep and it's on really solid volume, something that looks like this, you know, in, in the range of let's just call it 20 million mark. That's where you start to get concerned that maybe it's more than just a healthy pullback. So those are my thoughts here inside of DATS. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything new, definitely let me know down below in the comment section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked in the description. And all of that being said, I wish you a green trading week.